Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to join a PlayStation 5 party chat on your PC. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So let's say you're in your room and you just got a notification for a PlayStation 5 party chat and your PlayStation is downstairs. How would you go ahead and still join that party chat? Well, this is actually very easy. So let's switch over to a web browser right now. So here's google.com. Let's type in PlayStation Remote Play and then press enter. Then select the top link. And this one will be Remote Play US PlayStation. And here is the direct URL. Now let's scroll down. And here is the link for Windows PC and Mac download. Let's select this. And go to Control Your PS5 console from a Windows PC. Then go to Install the app. I'll bring you down here. Let's go to Agree and then Download. Now it's going to download in the bottom left side of the screen. Go ahead and select the up arrow and then go to show in folder or go to open. Now go through the installation process. Now this is PlayStation Remote Play and what it looks like. So if you go to other connections, you have the option to choose between your PlayStation 4 and your PlayStation 5. I'm going to choose my PlayStation 5. Now it says before you connect, Go into your PlayStation 5 settings, go to System, Remote Play, and enable Remote Play. Now on the left side of the screen, there is a settings section. If we go ahead and select this, we can see the PlayStation Network ID that we are signed into. We can go to Video Quality. If we're on the PlayStation 4, we have the option to increase or reduce the resolution and the frame rates. On the PlayStation 5, it just does it automatically. Okay, so I'm signed into my account. Now make sure you're connected to the same network as your PlayStation. And simply press the blue button right in the middle here. So let's select PS5 785. And it's going to search your connection for nearby PlayStations to automatically connect to. So I just heard my PlayStation 5 turn on. And it's checking the network. And boom, now I can see my PlayStation 5's dashboard. And if you do not have a controller around, you do have the option to move throughout the menus using your arrow keys on your keyboard. So right now I can hear my PlayStation 5's desktop when I go ahead and move around. And if I start up a game, I can hear all the audio on my PC. So if you're someone who's streaming and you wanna get audio on your PC quickly, well, this is an easy way to do that. So I do have my controller connected to my PC. What I can do is press the PlayStation button and open up this window and then scroll on down to game base and then go over to parties and join a party. So let's go ahead and join this B team voice chat and go to join. And then I should be able to hear anybody in this party chat on my PC. Now, if I scroll down and open up this window a little bit, there is a microphone option. If I go ahead and unmute my microphone, any microphone I have on my PC now can be used to communicate with people who are playing on their PlayStations. And also, if you do not have a controller connected, you do have these buttons on the bottom where you can press the PlayStation button and open up this screen. So, you can navigate throughout your entire PlayStation 5 without the controller connected. Now you do have the option to do this on your phone as well. Like you're at a hotel and you want to play your PlayStation 5 that's at home, check out this application. So if this video did indeed help you guys out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.